Rockstar's vast Frontier sandbox has more easter eggs stuffed into it than every other GTA combined, so if you're on the hunt for Bigfoot, UFOs or wicked Wild West witches, look no further than this list. Here are the 17 must-see things in Red Dead Redemption 2 you need to experience before you die. Spoiler warning, a couple of these must-see activities can only be completed once you get to the epilogue of the game, but we'll point those out before we mention them in this list. You should be able to find everything else in the open world, although you could argue that even knowing of their existence is a sort of spoiler, so don't say we didn't warn you. Find giant bones. Ride to the summit of Mount Shan, to the north of Strawberry, and prepare to face a rather sizeable surprise. Meet a robot. To find this miserable metal man, you first need to play through the wonderfully absurd A Bright Bouncing Boy Stranger Mission, which you can start by visiting the marker in the southwest of St. Denis. Complete the toy boat mission, then travel to the inventor's lab to the north of Brandywine Drop at least 24 in-game hours later. Finish the electrifying experiment and come back a few in-game days later, pick up the lamp from the lab, then travel to the map's most northwesterly mountains near Coulter. Equip the lamp and follow the ticks all the way up the peak and Morgan will soon stumble upon this robot. Encounter the KKK. If you keep your eyes peeled near the southwest flats just by roads, you might spot some men in white coats attempting to perform a ritual. This is Rockstar's Wild West version of the Ku Klux Klan, and they're hilariously incompetent. The eternal light Find the Wild West serial killer. It doesn't come as much of a surprise that there's a presumably active serial killer running amok in Red Dead Redemption 2. We won't ruin everything, but the first clue is up towards the bridge on the Valentine side of the tracks by Citadel Rock. You'll need to find all three parts to solve this particular horror show, and trust me, you're going to want to follow this one through to completion. Oh. Poor bastard. See a flying saucer. It just wouldn't be a Rockstar game without a juicy UFO mystery. To see this saucer, you first must travel to the spooky cabin in the north of Heartland Overflow in New Hanover. Here you'll find a shack populated by long dead cultists. Read the note on the leader's table and then wait till around 2am. Bigfoot. Although Red Dead 2 never shows you its Sasquatch, the game leaves you heavy clues and when you eventually come across a mysterious, never seen figure in a cave, it's pretty obvious who it is. To kickstart this easter egg, you must first ride to the lake at Calumet Ravine, found north of Bacchus Station. Here you will find a mysterious flock of birds, but only once you've found 30 different species of animals. Once you've done that, return to the lake and the birds will guide you to the curious creature's lair. Yep. How are you? I'm rather lonely. You see, I'm too big. I haven't got any friends because I'm too big. Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is so. That's sort of why I said it. That and because I was lonely and wanted to talk. Maybe we could be friends. Find the crashed airship. This point of interest feels like a sly homage to the original Redemption's Daedalus and Sons Stranger Quest. To the northwest of Little Creek River, among a forest and near the slopes of the accompanying hills, you can find an old-timey crashed airship.
Visit the Meteor House. You can find this grizzly grotto in Renoki Valley, to the east of Brandywine Drop. Ride to the isolated shack and you may spot a small but conspicuous hole in its roof. Venture inside and Arthur soon discovers three mutilated bodies, all of which have been obliterated by a rogue piece of space rock. What the hell? Walk to the Witch's Cauldron. This spellcasting shack lies a little north to the N in Amberino. Step inside and Morgan will find a steaming cauldron, which is presumably full of Eye of Newt and other disgusting goodies. But then there's the option to drink it. Figure out the strange statues. Rockstar loves a cryptic puzzle as much as we do. So when you first find the strange statue's mural scrawled into the chalk on the underside of Widow Rock, you're going to want to find out exactly what it refers to. It's here that you'll start the journey to figuring all that out, and it actually has something to do with fingers and feathers. Be sure to visit the Bowel Rider. Head towards Donner Falls to the north of Bacchus Station and take the precarious cliff path down to the shores of the river. And soon you'll come across this sad, unfortunate sight. Meet a mammoth. Ride to the northwest of Amberino, where the two rivers split, and you'll find the skeleton of this once hairy customer lying among the snow. Pay respects to a pagan ritual. Want to see some straight up Blair Witch voodoo in 2018's biggest game? Then travel just east of Lake Awangela, which can be found a little west of Strawberry. In these hills, Morgan will find a gruesome offering to the old gods. The Hobbit Hill. Travel northeast of Bacchus Station and Arthur will find this adorable Tolkien inspired abode. Pity the dead who marry the sheep. Take your horse northwest of Emerald Ranch until you reach Guthrie Farm. In one of this location's small stables, you'll find a corpse of a dead chap who was clearly doing um, unethical stuff to sheep before he passed. The last game featured a bearded guy who was more than a little in love with a horse, so we suppose this man on mutton romance was to be expected. Okay, here come the spoilers, so if you've managed to avoid them so far and want to keep doing so, look away now. The Donkey Lady. This must-see site is inspired by the first Redemption's most infamous glitch. Ride to New Austin, to the northwest of Lake Don Julio, and you'll discover a brutal scene. In a nod to the poor woman you could inadvertently ride in the last game, this Easter egg involves a female skeleton saddled with a great unbearable weight. Anyone else feel guilty about laughing at Red Dead One's Donkey Lady? No? Fine. The Alchemist House. The Alchemist House is a must-see spot and is located on a piece of the map you really don't want to discover until you reach Red Dead Redemption 2's epilogue. Once you do, head to New Austin, specifically to the path between Gaptooth Ridge and Chinola Springs. Reach this destination, which lies a little north of Tumblewood, to discover a soon-to-be-destroyed hut. Hey, hey, easy! 
And that's just the start. There are also ghosts, crashed wedding carriages, balloons and more out there in the Wild West. So if you'd like to know where all these little mysteries are, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, click the boxes on the left for more content from us and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trade Plus.